Welcome back to the poor investor today look at this i'm doing a video back to back releases all within a week that is some crazy stuff why because i went through a reddit post that i found pretty interesting and i'm gonna link one and one together so you guys can you know kind of do the math yourself one plus one equals five whatever it is it's gonna be pretty interesting what i have to show you guys and let me just get right to it right but before before we continue with that let's go over the price 3101 didn't fluctuate too much from yesterday's video that i put out with the evergreener so i said the evergreener the evergreen miner so here's one thing i have dylan if you're watching and i'm probably going to reach out to you i haven't had time to do that yet the hard drive portion of the evergreen miner has a fan in it and it is damn loud so i'm gonna have to unscrew get that case open and see if i can just disable the fan i know what's in this tight enclosure it's not really well ventilated so i'm gonna have to look into that more you know in the middle of the night i had this thing plugged into my living room and it was just whining like crazy it was worse than a cat in heat in the alley all right and don't ask me how i know that i just i i'm guessing all right i'm guessing anyway the price 3102 chia it's still there whole situation with ftx finance yeah that there you go binance ftx didn't buy it they didn't acquire ftx so ftx lost billions of dollars and he's worth a couple of hundred million dollars as if i'm gonna feel sorry for him we are talking about today gpu proof of concept gpu plotter testing with two rtx 3090s now that doesn't stop any one of us from contributing and finding more maybe not just with 3090 3080s 3070s you got the ti's and you have the amd stuff amd radeon uh 6900 6800 67 66 is it beneficial there is a youtube video i'm going to show you guys right now basically what it says proof of concept first gpu plotter finished phase one in 110 seconds with two rtx 3090 after having mad max on this channel when i was discussing this whole um his mad max coin he did kind of hint the whole gpu plotting of plots for chia for mining or farming xch so here we are focused on this reddit post i do not know who this person is the op of this post all right you know he goes into the details of it obviously i wanted to bring this to light because linus tech tips uh had actually put out a video a couple of days ago five days ago you can see right here and he was talking about chia and i'm just gonna run this clip really fast and some from unscrupulous users that use the hard drive to mine cryptocurrencies <laughs> but how much does that hurt them well, there are many coins you can mine on a hard drive today. We tried it in the past. The most popular by far is Chia mining. It I responded to Bram's tweet when he actually linked this video in uh, his Twitter account and said that, oh, Linus Tech Tip mentioned Chia. And I and I kind of commented and I said, well, all he said was mining. He not once did he ever mention farming. Bram comes back and says, no, later in the video, he actually mentions farming. I actually found that segment where he said he mentions farming. He didn't mean farming as in farming chia. He just meant farming the word farming as a farm. It seems unlikely they are part of a farm because having the patience to allow those rewards to slowly accumulate. Of drives, that's mining chia, not necessarily farming chia. So obviously this gentleman here on uh, from Linus Tech Tip did not know the terminology for chia i'm not saying in a bad way i'm just saying bram you were wrong all right what am i getting at well this video because it brought chia to somewhat of light having 1.1 million views obviously someone's gonna look into it and see this portion of it first two minutes of the segment the tension of people watching this is gonna definitely stay on and it's gonna realize that let me look into seeing what that is if i haven't done so already so let's go back to this post he linked the youtube video it's right there it's still going mike which I've had on this channel as well, commented here. Dual EPYC does 90 seconds on phase one. Keep pushing. GPU base may become more economic, but 3090 tandem aren't cheap either. That is right. 3090 video cards are not cheap. I guess if you buy them brand new, they're, they're definitely not cheap, but maybe in the used market, we're not going to look into that because the price fluctuation, depending on the vendor and the manufacturer, the type of 
GPU 3090s, but in general, they're, I believe they're still up in a thousand bucks. At its proof of concept, there is no plan to release it. I saw lots of people talking about the new Blade Bit. BB is Blade Bit, not Blackberry. 2.0 versus MM, that's Mad Max, which one should be a default plotter for Chia? What I feel is the community don't need bb2 or mm2 all right blade bit or mad max what we need is a plotter light speed fast without too much ram and ssd so basically saying we don't want to spend thousands of dollars for a plotter that we will only use one time to plot all these drives and then just sit there and do nothing which a lot of people have done uh, including myself and there are services out there that provide plotting services so you don't have to go and waste money on hardware just to plot and then not use anything because you filled up all your storage it should be a high-end pc not low-end server and the only way to get there is using gpu to plot it makes total sense right but would you purposely go and buy a gpu just to plot because then you're in the same predicament you're going to be using a gpu to plot or if you purchase one to plot how is that different from having this crazy hardware of insane amount of memory or insane fast drives to plot chia plots unless you're going to be utilizing that gpu to play games as well having a lot of ram playing game doesn't benefit you and having uh you know blade bit a lot of memory all right man max having a decent powerful cpu you can utilize that but the amount of memory that you would need to use blade bit and doing everyday things and playing games it's not it's no benefit to be honest why not release the source code someone might take this and bring it to the standard uh i don't think there will ever be a standard per se but i could be wrong i have done a lot of testing with blabit and on our current ice lake cpu with 32 cores and 512 gigs of ram i can generate plots in less than six minutes at a power cost at the wall of less than 250 watts interesting what are you showing here is two times gpus that from what I see, one is consuming 350 watts and the other is consuming 420 watts. That's a lot of wattage to plot. Uh, system usage too, which to me is not very energy efficient. I agree because the whole point of Chia was not to be utilizing so much energy just to plot, even though it does. When you actually plot, whether you have a decent CPU, Mad Max, or traditional plotting or blade bit, there is a high consumption of electricity usage because it's generating and it's doing its mathematical conversions. But when you actually finish plotting and you're having a sit there and farm, it's just a huge difference from using the GPU. Now, of course, if this is true, what he's saying, that one, one is using 350 watt, the other one is using 420 watt compared to his 250 watt total of when he has 512 gigs of RAM. But then 512 gigs of RAM isn't cheap either, right? You, especially with a CPU that's 32 cores. And let's just say you don't have 512 gigs of RAM and you don't have a 32 core CPU. You have modestly a, you know, a lower end CPU and maybe not even have because even a half of this uh gig of ram uh 512 gigs of ram is still a lot all right typically on my machines i have 32 gigs of ram so that's not even close to this i wouldn't even be able to plot this fast i mean even if i got an hour that's already like i'm, I'm pretty satisfied honestly so in the youtube video you can see saw all resources gpu have included power usage or so this is this is from the op 420 watt and 350 watt is power is max power 3090 can handle not the real time watts phase one use more like 250 phase two or three use less around 100 and 100 plus watts and a lot of idle time. I wish GPU's power usage is high, which means the algorithm porting is very decent. But now as the PCIe IO bandwidth limitation, all data needs come back and forth from uh, CPU to GPU, which highly limits the GPU's performance. In general concept, if an algorithm is highly parallel, parallel bull, all right, GPU can process it more efficient than CPU. Plotting in hybrid though, Phase one is very good for GPU. Phase three is worse. Phase two kind of in between. So Mad Max actually did mention this whole GPU being able to plot, but not into great details. So maybe this is coming of light. I mean, there is a, there's something going on. It's happening, right? Will you be surprised going forward that GPU miners, let's just say you, you 
you take the whole crew from YouTube and all of a sudden they have the ability to use GPUs to plot. Do you still think that they would go out and buy hard drives to farm Chia? Me personally, I don't. It's a tough call because I've seen a lot of people on the um, Linus uh, tech tip video right let's go back over here for a second plotting it was a, more like buying used drives to farm chia or in their case mine chia i highly doubt gpu miners would flock over to chia just because you can plot with gpus it may help a little bit all right it, it may trigger some individuals with gpus that do not want to spec mine well actually there will still be spec farming with chia so that's really debatable right does making plots in 10 minutes or one minute with 10 fold power consumption any difference how much joules are needed to farm these plots per year is the key value here yeah that, i agree correct me if i'm wrong but it seems like going backwards to me the concept is green chia it's like reverting from renewable energy sources back to cutting the trees to heat up your home no or maybe i'm missing something nah you're not missing anything it's it is in a way it's going backwards i guess or utilizing additional resources it's almost like before we had or petrol cars then we had hybrid and then now we have all electric so now we're going back to hybrid if this is a thing gpu plotting uh for on hard drives i'm not a fan of the higher of the high wattage builds personal opinion 10 raspberry pis across the globe does make more to secure the network than 300 watt server or big plotter box filling racks it steps on toes so i keep my mouth shut usually but your opinion is shared by some let's go to the op's most recent comment that's actually right here three hours ago as you know gpo won't have enough vram to do full gpu ram plotting which at least needs 128 gigs of ram or vram the only model i saw which is available soon is intel data center gpu which none of us will ever touch that for no reason whatsoever if that gpu is available the gpu plotting can do few uh x percent uh zero percent faster x like hundreds of times faster he's saying there in current poc uh, proof of concept all performance loss in data copy from cpu to gpu and gpu is hungry and waiting cpu ddr memories data transfer no one gpu only need four cpu core to feed in the data cpu mainly just do memory copy back and forth to gpu and 250 gigs ddr ram can do full ram based plotting can you test it on more consumer level hardware like a 1050 ti or a 9070 or something like that yeah i definitely would like to know that too because i don't have 3090s nor would i purposely go out and buy one just to mine or plot chia because one i don't have any more drives and that's probably something i won't even by anytime soon as far as used drives if again going back to this whole linus tech tip buying used drives off of ebay or whatnot prices are still the same more or less it hasn't actually some of the prices on um because black friday is coming up the hard drive prices are coming back down a little bit but let's go from here uh from the youtube video you can see that the far right panel is nv nv top it shows all gpu resources usage like power ram kudo core uh, percentage uh, gpu plotting can use any gpu with uh, 4g vram but 8g vram prefer so he's referring to and of course uh i still have this video running i actually re-ran it again you can see all that information on the top right he said right uh far right panel mbt top yeah you will have to kind of dig into that which is kind of unclear to me right now i will have to actually screenshot that then zoom in on that and that's basically it so let me know if that actually would benefit you or or would that make a difference to the chia ecosystem by using gpus to plot which defeated the whole purpose to begin with because i believe bram was pretty against that all right guys i want to thank you guys for being here please remember to hit that like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys again soon bye